heartwarming, heartwarming story. I put a hit on you. A heartbroken woman teaming up with her ex-boyfriend to try and stop the hitman she had accidentally hired to kill him. How do you accidentally <laughs> hire someone to kill him? Hey, look, it happens, okay? <laughs> it wasn't that big of an accident, I don't think it was. And we have the uh, uh, directors and co-writers of I Go to Hit on You. This is a um, slam dance movie. Uh, we have Dane Clark and Lindsay uh, Stewart, who uh, directed and co-wrote I Put a Hit on You. And then uh, Aaron Ashmore, who is uh, uh, the uh, what, the actor. Are you the boyfriend? I'm most certainly the boyfriend. I can. I well, can you're not dead. Well, I, so can see, dead. I can see why somebody would want to kill you. I, can, I appreciate that. It's early. Yeah, yeah you're so very I can see that. Uh, so, so tell me um, now. Are you? I see a picture of. I think that is you, isn't it, Lindsay? Stuart, are you in the movie as well, Lindsay? No, no, no. That's that's his co-star, Sarah Canning. Oh, I think you don't you don't want me behind. The They're both wearing no. a hat. Bill. No, that's why. <laughs> it's just uh, long hair and a hat. Yeah. It's all women with uh, long hair and hats look exactly the same. Do you have your glasses on? I just uh, look exactly the same. <laughs> Uh, so, so uh, how yeah? How did it happen that she accidentally hired a hitman to kill this fine-looking young man? Earlier in the night, she proposed to him at dinner, and that didn't go so well. He said no. Oh. Uh -huh. So she went home, I had a lot of tequila, and we got on a little Craigslist and went in the barter section. Uh -huh. And she put her name as an ash of his back day, and he said, "I'll trade you my engagement ring if you become my ex-boyfriend." And she never thought anybody would reply, but then somebody replied. Somebody replied, and so why not? <laughs> exactly. So why not? Yeah. And so then throughout the course of the night, night, it's the two of them trying to figure out whether this threat is in fact something real. But the bigger issues they're dealing with is the dysfunctionality of their relationship and whether or not um, they have what it takes to go the distance. Are they ready to take it to that next level? Because they seem to be a little bit off. Well, he said no for a reason. Yes. There are issues that I, hurts. I think he probably, uh, and I don't know, Aaron, but didn't didn't your character say no because she's obviously bat sock crazy? <laughs> no, no. I think we were just having some issues that we had resolved, oh. and that was the, you know, I think a lot of people in relationships. You know, you have the baby to, you know, fix the relationship or you, you know, try and take it to that next level. And I think that that's what she was doing, was sort of trying to gloss over any of the issues that we had by proposing. And uh, I wasn't falling for that. Not going to fall for that one. This is a woman who was willing to have you killed. There's something wrong with <laughs> um, uh, where did you guys, uh, where did you make this uh, movie? Where is it filmed? Uh, we shot up in Toronto, Canada. We're all, we're all from Toronto. Yeah, and uh, 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 did, you, did you all know each other? Is this a, pro uh, a project among friends or? Uh, no, but Lindsay and I know each other because we're married. But we didn't know Aaron. Uh, we knew of his work and we, we offered him a script and we met with him and we got along and thankfully took the role. So the, 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 the two of you are married and yes. how how close is this to something that might have happened in your portrait? <laughs> How autobiographical is it? <laughs> um, well, by law, we're not supposed to talk about it. Uh -huh. okay. uh, but no, actually, it, it's not. I mean, there's part there's demons in our relationship that obviously end up coming out <laughs> between these characters, but uh, the actual incident didn't actually happen to us. Yeah, and as, as wacky as the movie might sound, it's, it's really just a weird, bizarre turn of events that they're reacting to as everyday people. And that's, it's, it's played for real. And, um, you know, we shot this movie uh, all in Toronto in, in 12 days, and it's really just Aaron and Sarah. They're the bulk of our, our entire movie. <coughs> I'm well, surprised no Carrie, Carrie Jackson is a resident geek. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the for the end of the interview to, to okay. embarrass oh. Aaron a little bit. Oh, <laughs> okay. do I have some embarrassment coming down? No, no, no. no. <laughs> Oh, go ahead. Well, I just uh, you may re remember him as uh, Jimmy Olsen from Smallville, about uh, Warehouse 13. Now the Can question. Nerds in the house. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, there's one right there. Yeah. 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 And so the big question is: is uh, the Veronica Mars movie? Because you were also in Veronica Mars. Well, I was on in the TV show, um, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, even though I sort of started to try to get a Twitter campaign going for myself to get myself <laughs> on, on the movie, smart, didn't work. Didn't uh, work. It didn't work. But I'm hoping for a sequel. I think it's such a popular yeah. uh, 
series that I think that they could probably make. I mean, I'm, I'm going to make a push. I'm going to make a push for the season. It's just fascinating that they were able to kickstart that thing. Yeah, I can't remember how much money they raised, but millions and millions of dollars. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Just, it's, it's, yeah, it's amazing. Well, I'm not going to go see it because you're not in it. I appreciate that. I'm supporting you. I'm with you. Oh, and then I just looked up your co-star. She's in the Vampire Diaries. Yes, she was. Yeah, yeah, she was in the Vampire Diaries. So that's that's been a popular mm -hmm. show. So there you go. Uh, you got some good people to work with, and uh, how is it? I know uh, I don't. Uh, I don't have screen. Today is uh, the last uh, screening at eleven thirty this morning. Yeah. So yeah. you guys could run over and see it. It's right across the street, actually. Yeah. Treasure Mountain. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, people have been uh, enjoying it over there at Treasure Mountain. Yeah, it seems like it. We had our first screening on Saturday night. We mm -hmm. and it went really, it was really fun. People laughed when they were supposed to laugh. Yeah, yeah that's always the most. That's, that's, <laughs> that's the way it's supposed it's to help, work, yeah. isn't it? It's uh, helpful. And then uh, be looking for it. Uh, we don't know uh, whether it has sold yet or not, but it may. Not yet. Yeah, we're hoping. So uh, be looking for it. It's called I Put a Hit on You, uh, and uh, it's uh, Dane Clark and Lindsay Stewart. And uh, Aaron Ashmore is one of the stars, and uh, also Sarah, is it uh, yeah. Canning? Yeah, yeah, Sarah Canning is also in it. Be looking for it. I put a hit on you. Thank you, guys. Thanks so much. Thank